There we go. All done. Kids, you can come in now. Woohoo! We can finally play in the clubhouse! Be careful, Gus. You knocked over your telescope. Oh no, I think I broke it. Now we won't get to see the moon. Give me that yummy gummy. I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. Oh, Rat Pack. I was so excited to get to learn about the moon, too. Oh, you just forgot to remove the lens cap. <laughs> Try it now. Woohoo! You did it, Peck! Now I can see all the stars. That's a relief. You just got that telescope, too, Gus. I hope you two enjoy the new clubhouse. You boys be careful. Bye, Dad. Thanks for the super cool treehouse. Now let's see if we can find the moon, Peck. There it is. I see it. It's so bright tonight. How do you think all those craters got on the moon, Peck? Oh, I know the answer to that. The craters were formed by asteroids and meteorites hitting the moon's surface. Wow! I just saw an asteroid hit the moon. Wait a minute. It looks like I just found a huge hole inside the moon. How is that even possible? Oh boy, that's very peculiar. <laughs> Let me see. Wow, I believe you just discovered a lunar tube, Gus. A lunar what? A lunar tube. They're pretty much just huge caves and tunnels created by lava billions of years ago. Oh, I get it now. Well, if I spotted one from the telescope here on Earth, they must be really huge. That's correct. Some lunar tubes are even estimated to be up to 3,000 feet wide. 3,000 feet? Uh, how big is that? Let's just say it's big enough to hold a small city. Oh my goodness, an entire city can fit inside. Wow, that is huge. Let's see what else we can find, little gators. Wait a second. <gasps> the moon is shaking, Peck! <laughs> Very funny, Gus. The moon's surface doesn't just start shaking. No, I'm being serious. You see it, don't you, little gators? Yeah, Gus, we can see it too. It's really shaking, Peck. Look for yourself. No popsicles. You weren't kidding. The moon is shaking. Wait a minute. I remember reading something about this in my science book. When the surface of the moon shakes, it's called a moonquake. They're exactly like earthquakes here on Earth, just not as strong. You're totally right, Gus. I remember reading that too. But unlike earthquakes on Earth, which only last 10 to 30 seconds, moonquakes can last up to 30 minutes. Wow, that's a really long time. I'm sure glad we're not on the moon right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, but you have to admit, the moon is still pretty awesome. It sure is, Peck. It's totally awesome. First, we learned that all those craters on the moon were created by asteroids and meteors hitting its surface. And we even saw one as it hit, too. That's right, Gus. Then, we learned that there are caves inside the moon called lunar tubes which were created by lava billions of years ago. Some lunar tubes are big enough to hold small cities. And finally, we learned about moonquakes, which caused the surface of the moon to shake. They're just like earthquakes, but nowhere near as strong and can actually last up to 30 minutes long. Wow, we sure had fun learning about the moon today, didn't we, little gators? We sure did, Gus. That was awesome! Looking good! Heck and I are going to go see what other cool stuff we can find using the telescope. Thanks for watching, little gators! Bye!